You need a sink, preferably a steel sink. Make sure you put the plug in it because you really don't want to blow the contents of the U-Bend all around the room. You also need some canned gas. This is a, a butane propane mixture and as such it's significantly more dense than the air. So you can fill a sink with it quite easily. Again, nothing to be seen, but if you light a match and toss it in, you can get quite a pretty fire, completely safely. There are no safety issues with this other than pupils and demonstrators stand well back. And that's a very good starter and a very good talking point. Notice particularly the luminous flame because we'll come back to luminous and non-luminous flames in due course. The point about the density is that it will remain in the sink, the gas will remain in the sink for quite some time. And one of the things which is surprising is exactly how long you can leave it before you apply the light and you will still get the fire. The point about this also is that you can use this to explain, for example, explosions on boats that you sometimes read about. Uh, in the papers and see on, on the TV news where a heavy gas has accumulated in the boat, perhaps over a period of weeks. The owner arrives, lights the stove and there's a very loud bang and the boat and the owner are very unhappy. So the density is really important. This will linger for quite some time. Um, I don't know how long I've been talking for, but everyone would have expected that the gas would have dissipated in that time and there will be no result. In fact, it's just the same and if you have the patience you can leave that for five minutes or longer and you will still get the explosion or at least the, the fire which is a graphic demonstration of how gas can accumulate in various places including houses um, with disastrous results. <laughs>